What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I just got a quick one for you guys today. We're gonna do a tutorial on stack text. And we're just gonna start by making a couple rectangles here. And they're just gonna be a border. So we'll make this one 11 by five. And then we'll make another one that's just a little bit smaller. Do 10.5 by 4.5. And we will just align that to the center of our stock. Now we can start putting our text down. We're gonna start with the text that's gonna be on the bottom. And I've selected Courier Bold for this. You can use whatever you like, but I think this one looks pretty cool. I made it five inches tall, and then I just used the resize tool to grab the side and click and drag it to the width that I wanted. So now we can do our top text. And for this, I used one that I downloaded off of a website. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where I get my fonts from. And now we're just gonna make a duplicate of this by clicking uh, either Control or Command C. We'll just drag that off to the side for now. And you'll notice that I keep centering everything to my stock by clicking on the Align tool. I'll click Center to Stock and Align Centers. And that's gonna be important for helping us line everything up as we go. So now that we've got our text down, we wanna select both of them. And we're gonna use a Boolean union. And you'll see that when we click that, it combines everything that overlaps. And now we also wanna go ahead and click group selection. So now we're all done with the design. We'll keep this part selected here, the text that's in there. And we will select this inside box that we drew. And then we'll go over to toolpath, click contour. And let's just use a eighth inch end mill. And this is going to be the bottom, so this is going to be the deepest text. Um, you know, you can go to whatever depth you want for this. I'm just gonna go to 0.2. And we wanna make sure that we have pocket selected. And now we can check out that simulation. And you'll see now it's pocketed all around both of those texts that we had. All right, now let's go ahead back to the design tab. We'll select the other text that we moved down to the bottom and let's go ahead and align that to our center. And you can see that that perfectly overlaps the other text that's there. And now we've got that text selected. We'll hold shift and select this inside box once again. Go to toolpath. Again, we'll click on contour. We'll leave that as the eighth inch end mill Make sure we have pockets selected. But for this one, we're only going to go 0.1. And now we'll check that simulation out again. So now you can see that it's pocketed all around, stacked in between uh, the words stacked and that border that we made. All right, now I wanna go over the paint process with you guys. And you already saw me spraying it white at the beginning of the video. And I did that just so it could dry. And now what I'm doing is I'm applying a mask. This is like an alternative to Aura Mask. This is 3M shelf liner. And then we'll go ahead and cut that first operation out, which is gonna be our bottom text. And now I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and we'll go ahead and spray the black on that. We'll let it dry for a little while and then we can peel this aura mask off before doing our next machining process. And you'll kind of notice that it's jumping around a lot here and it's kind of cutting a lot of air. Um, and what we could have done to change that would be to just do like a, I don't know, point 0.2 or so offset on uh, the word stacked and then just cut in between there. That would save you a little bit of time in the machining. But here's some finished pictures. It came out pretty good. Hopefully Mr. Text likes his new sign. 
And a big shout out to everybody that supports me, especially the Patreon supporters. I really appreciate that, especially during times like this. And other great ways to support me if you're looking to help out are just to watch my videos, like, comment, share them. And that'll let YouTube know that you guys really like my content. So thanks for checking us out, and I will see you over on this next video.